Tucker Carlson bashed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's documentary series on Netflix in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers. Around half a million viewers tune in to watch Tucker Carlson Tonight, which is the highest-rated primetime news show in the U.S. Speaking last night, Mr. Carlson ripped into the couple as desperate ex-royals who crave the limelight. In a monologue, the Fox News primetime host described Meghan as a fake duchess from L.A. He said, they are still talking about themselves because they are victims and somehow they got a Netflix documentary about themselves. Mr. Carlson discussed a scene where Meghan Markle recounts being told to curtsy in front of the late Queen Elizabeth II. During the scene, Meghan said she was surprised to learn the formalities required, comparing them to the theatrical restaurant Medieval Times Dinner Tournament. Just in, Harry Meghan in fresh polling disaster as Charles I's punishment Tucker Carlson bashed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's documentary series on Netflix, Image, Fox News, Carlson discussed a scene where Meghan Markle recounts being told to curtsy, Image, Netflix. He said, she said she can't believe she had to curtsy. No, that's the whole reason you pursued her grandson. So you could be involved in all this, because you have no other talents, obviously. You don't think of narcissism as its own genre of television but it has become one. Mr. Carlson then urged Meghan Markle to go back to Long Beach. Tucker Carlson ripped into the couple as desperate ex-royals who crave the limelight image, Fox News. His guest on the show, GB News host Calvin Robinson, echoed Mr. Carlson's point saying that Meghan and Harry are painting themselves as victims so they are above reproach. He criticized Meghan for her lack of grace and disrespect for royal customs US-based review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes shows the dismal reaction among American viewers. Don't miss, Prince Harry is delighted over Netflix show as he hopes end to row, insight, Russia demands Finland punish extremists who burn flag, video, a vile slur on Queen's beloved Commonwealth, express comment. Trending the last three episodes will be released by Netflix on Thursday, Image, Fox. Critics have handed the docu-series a 46% approval so far, but regular audiences were far harsher with just 12% approval among everyday viewers. Meanwhile, royal author Angela Levin believes King Charles may wait until January to make a decision on action to take against Meghan and Harry. Among the possible measures the monarch could take is stripping the Sussexes of their titles of Duke and Duchess, albeit Harry would retain his prince title. The first part of the pair's docu-series debuted on December 8, with the last three episodes to be released by Netflix on Thursday. On January 10, more allegations against the firm and revelations may emerge from the Duke in his memoir, Spare.